Okay, this is Aska, and this is a flying car. Uh, I just test drove it, it was awesome. It's flying an airplane, you're gonna need a license to do it. At first, when I looked at it, I'm like, oh, this thing will never make it in production or whatever. I could see this thing a little bit wild, like getting mass production. They're saying 2025, 2026, it could be even sooner. But as you can see, this is just the pod, right? So you have, they're not gonna bring the whole propeller here and stuff like that, you see that in pictures. But as I was driving this, uh, I have a little experience flying a plane. I have a couple of friends that have small two and four seaters that let me fly when we were up there. They didn't let me land. I wanted to land, they didn't let me land. But, uh, and it's kind of similar, it's a little sensitive. Uh, driving the Bay Area, uh, and it was smooth as could be. You need your pilot's license to do this. Uh, it goes on about 250 miles. They started about 750,000, which I didn't think was that crazy depending if, you know, for people who own planes and stuff like that. But it was just, it was a really cool product. I was very surprised uh, how easy it was, how advanced it was, the simulation was. It was absolutely amazing. Very, very easy to use. Uh, this isn't just, hey, you know, prototype and let's just throw something together and throw it to CES. You can tell they've been working on this for a very long time. The technology is sound. It's smooth. There was no glitches. Really, really good. But very impressed. Very impressed with Aska and this team. This team was actually awesome. So really good product. And I'll uh, report back to you guys from the CES.